So, I don't know if this means anything, okay? I'm pretty sure Fitz or Fritz, what's his name? I don't even know. He's just Cardi's engineer. That's all I know. But he posted a couple days ago. New Cardi on the way. Let me go find the tweet. I didn't talk about this because I just, I was like, this isn't even real. Like what, how many times, this is like a whole lot of red all over again, where like literally every time they say something, it's almost like when Uzi said he's retiring because he said it so many times, like you just don't even believe it at this point, but look at that, okay. New Cardi, Fritz Owens says, now, Cardi did technically say it on his Instagram story after the Travis Scott. What'd he say? Like, new shit on the way. Like, it ain't. <laughs> I don't even know what this means anymore. I really don't. Like, is he dropping now? Like, I feel like he just premiered the new sound. Now, some people are like, yo, the rollout starting. And, and I get it because the whole lot of red drops soon after flex up when he showed everybody what he was working on, I guess, like the new voice for a whole lot of red. But I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Deep voice speaking. It, it definitely makes me think like, does Cardi actually like we, we all have this speculation where he says, yo, somebody like he has like a little group meeting or in like a group chat, like, yo, somebody tweet new cardi or like somebody let them know i'm dropping soon and then they just start tweeting and then it blows up without him actually saying anything and that's why his name like i was checking in my explorer page on twitter and cardi was trending just based off that it's not here anymore but still because angus oh by the way r.i.p angus clout is that his real name or was that his like pseudonym or whatever the name, alias, alias. But yeah, RIP him. The Mac, he looked like Mac Miller. He was, he was a beast, bro. Euphoria was a great show too. Have I heard about a rapper? I'm not even gonna say that name because what the hell? Every single little TikTok video that I see of like, yo, I made this song three months ago, and like this person stole my bars word for word, bar for. I'm like, dude, shut up the song release and then you made a song with the same lyrics and the same beat and the same flow and then you changed the like the file so like it originated maybe you you placed the beat within the pro tools file that you originally started making that song like three months ago and you're like look i made this song before him and it's just like so corny bro like people gotta figure out better ways to market other than just saying somebody stole my flow. If anything, stealing your flow really isn't even like a big deal. I feel like a lot of rappers use each other's flow. Like SZA on Utopia used a Drake flow on one part in her song Telekinesis, I think, or Tele, yeah, I think that's what it's called. And I noticed it and I'm sure somebody did, but you don't see even Drake going on there and being like, yo, give me my publishing. Like as a songwriter or whatever, like it's kind of just a, a, it's paying homage similar to the barter 16 that Uzi's dropping for young thug. It's like, yo, I like your flow so much. This is me appreciating you. Most people won't catch on to it, but like you'll know it. And like your diehard fans will know it. And then they deleted their comment. Look at that. Look at that. I saw it crazy. You missed the old Bob. What the fuck does that mean? I'm still here. I'm still chilling. What does that even mean? I'm still new. I haven't even gotten to a point where like, oh, he can change. Like once I get it, once I get to a million, y'all can start saying like, oh, he like sold his soul. He He's doing it all for the money or whatever. Then you can start talking all that bullshit. But like, I haven't even made it necessarily. Like, I think I made it because I definitely make a lot of money from my my following or whatever but uh appreciate y'all for that but like no we're we're still we're still underground in a way not in the sense of like soundcloud rapper type shit but like what i got like three hundred thousand subscribers total like that's 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 nothing compared to some of these other people we're not mainstream yet no 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 i don't have a problem with cardi sounding like future nah I don't think he sounds like Future. I feel like 
He's doing his own voice. Just because it's a low voice doesn't necessarily mean it sounds like future. Like when I first heard it, I heard like Homicide Gang, which is one of his artists. So they might have been inspired by him or he inspired by uh, the other way around, vice versa. So like they keep it within their camp. And like, again, if you're using your own artist flows or lyrics or whatever, like you, you're all part of the same group. You tend to sound the same anyway, even in like rap collectives that aren't signed to each other. Now, Future, Bella definitely thought it was Future on the song when it played, but I don't know. I didn't hear Future whatsoever. Why is it a problem with Uzi? I never said it was a problem. I, that's, I was, what did we just say before? I just said, Young Thug, like he's paying homage to Young Thug. I, I said like, it's fun. It's not biting if he literally is naming a project after one of Young Thug's old projects. I was just saying, when we were listening to the leaks, like I just didn't really like it. It wasn't like a biting thing. It was just, I don't know if it's working that much. But again, those were leaks. So it's not like I, can judge his new sound based on songs that are potentially or more likely throwaways. You know what I mean? Yeah, I saw I saw Rolling Loud tweet a great chaos, but again, I don't know what that means. Like that could mean anything. Like they they want him to perform new songs, right? And I don't even know if Cardi said like because they said that Ken's gonna perform like last Rolling Loud. They said something where it was like a great chaos is dropping before our festival. And then they said it was delayed when Ken announced something. So like they, they probably know just as much as us. And maybe Ken says like, yo, I'm going to perform new songs. But when is their next one? Like a couple months. And I think Ken said he was dropped, but no, then he said he was going to drop something July 17th. It never actually did.